Yesterday was the final day of the Bassmaster Elite Series Sabine River Challenge, and it proved to be a good day for one local fisherman. Heading into the day, Jasper native Todd Faircloth was in second place behind Dean Rojas. Of course, there were plenty of other fishermen who were trying to get back up there on the leaderboard. There was definitely some interesting conditions out there, though, that they all hadn't seen all week. There were clouds, wind, sun, and some sprinkles, so the fishermen had to adjust a little bit more. But what may have been a challenge to some of them proved to be pretty easy for Faircloth, at least from a numbers perspective. He netted five fish for over 14 pounds, combined to win the Sabine River Challenge, the season opening tournament for the Bassmaster Elite Series. I spoke to Faircloth after the event. We're now with the Sabine River Challenge champion, Todd Faircloth. Todd, congratulations. Hey, I appreciate it. Appreciate it, Andrew. So, what's going through your head right now? Man, I tell you what, you know, I, this is my fourth Elite Series win, but uh, I think this is the most special one of all because I got to do it right here in front of a hometown crowd. And uh, I've never done that before. And uh, had a lot of family and friends here and a lot of guys that I grew up fishing against here. And uh, it's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. What did that mean to you to have them out there when you're getting the trophy, family and friends that you've grown up with your entire life? You know, I, I think you saw it on stage. You know, the emotions come out, you know, because these people support me, you know, everywhere I go across the country traveling, you know, they always send me words of encouragement and, uh, you know, to pull it off right here in front of them, pretty sweet. As you mentioned, it was an unknown for many of you guys coming here. Was there ever a point when you figured it out and expected to see a certain type of, you know, fishery out there? Well, I, you know, um, I feel like I won this tournament on the third day of practice when you were in my boat. Good and, luck uh, charm right there, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Andrew rode with me, and, uh, you know, uh, I had been struggling pretty much, you know, and uh, I pulled into this area about noon, and I had about eight or nine bites in two hours, and uh, I felt pretty good about what I saw, and uh, I told, I think he could see the excitement in my eyes, too, but, uh, you know, you just never know what's going to happen over the course of four days, you know, I mean, this is a four-day event, so you have to catch them every single day, and, uh, um, you know, it just all worked out for me. How far out did you go? I know some guys went to Houston, some guys stayed right here in the backyard. Where did you go? I was running about 44, 45 to 50 miles west of here and, um, um, you know, making a pretty good run. But, uh, you know, uh, my saying is I'd rather spend an hour fishing where there's a bunch of fish than spend eight hours fishing where there's no fish. Right. <laughs> Obviously it paid off, right? That's right. That's right. Then, you know, looking ahead, this is a great start to your season. Now you're number one right now in Angler of the Year. You go to the Bassmasters Classic next year. Could it have started off better off for you at all? No, I mean, you, you can't you can't top first place, you know. I mean, so uh, everything's great right now. And, uh, you know, we leave. I leave from here tonight, and I'll start practice tomorrow on Lake Falcon. So uh, uh, my wife's going to drive me tonight, and uh, we're going to – we're going to book it down there. I doubt I'll be out there at daylight in the morning. but uh, <laughs> St. Patrick's Day, too. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So uh, I don't know. We, when I get back from Falcon, though, we're going to get home and we're going to celebrate. Awesome. Todd, congratulations. He's $100,000 richer, too. Does that sound good for you? Hey, I like the, I like the sound of that. <laughs> the Sabine River Challenge champion, Todd Faircloth. So here is the final leaderboard from the overall event. Todd Faircloth wins with 49 pounds and 6 ounces over the four-day tournament. Day 3 leader Dean Rojas finishes second with 42 pounds of fish. Terry Scroggins closes out the podium with over 41 pounds of fish. Of course, only 12 fishermen moved on to Sunday's round. The next Bassmaster Elite Series event will take place in Zapata, Texas in Falcon Lake. That tournament is scheduled to run this upcoming Thursday through next Sunday.